Look what Michael does. He puts out bangers. TwitchCon, baby. Wait, what? Oh, is this supposed to be like plastic? That's what people do when they're camping. They drink out of the fucking sack of water. So I'm going to TwitchCon to review my experience. It's taking place down in San Diego. The Wait, is this the right video? This, this has to be. When was Twitch? This is a year Wait, ago? But uh oh, there's a car crash. Looks like I have to go all the way around and then camp out in this sick desert so I can get to San Diego that way. To, you know, to review TwitchCon. Michael, why do you own a salvage title rundown piece of shit pickup truck from the city of Los Angeles? Um, because it's swag, first of all. Five times cheaper than a normal truck. And the most important, I make too much trash at my house. I put it in this truck and then put on a high-vis vest and drive around the place where I live until I find places with dumpsters and dump the trash. And people just assume that I, I work for the county of Los Angeles. And no one's gonna bother you. You have a high vis jacket and the white truck with the light on top. So, fuck. <laughs> Wait, to that's Twitch his Con. truck? We're going, to, uh, we're going to TwitchCon. Piss number one. Well, this is a fun, quirky story conflict. I came back from pissing, and the truck was doing some pissing oh. of its own. I think it's leaking coolant. Not really a car person, but... I want to say that the coolant thing should have coolant inside of it. Some water in there just to get me to and mechanic store. Water is cold sometimes, so that's pretty much coolant. Yep, yes sir. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Let's fucking go! Huh. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. I would not know what to do in that situation. Hmm. Luckily, it didn't matter because the engine was so hot that in the five minutes it took me to drive to the store, it already I don't know anything about cars. Water. So, you know, small miracles. Back to driving to the desert. And it was actually a really nice drive. It was blue skies, good day. Made the perfect place for the truck to overheat on the side of the road. <laughs> that's not good. I'm sure that's bad. I'm sure Holy, that's bad. he always has the worst okay. luck with automobiles. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen to this. Holy. So good. So good. This coolant pipe was leaking everywhere. How do we fix that? I don't know. Cool, yeah, so I just took it off. Ah. So I just took it off and put it back on and hope that it worked. I might need a funnel. Nah, that's, that's pretty good. Ah, fuck. <laughs> we'll it for a while and then we'll open it back up and see. Yeah, I got well. Wow, he's a genius. No piss, we got... Yo! Oh my god, it's full! I'm so, I'm so happy. Let's go to the desert. By now you're probably wondering, why are you really going to the desert? Anyways, my ulterior motive is because of Nystat. No, not that Nystat. His brother Van Nystat. He has a YouTube channel and his videos are pretty fucking weird, but they're also really good. And he has this one video called, Should I Get a Motorcycle? And I thought, hey, I should get a motorcycle. And now I have a motorcycle. <laughs> and I thought it would be really fun to ride around this desert. And now and I it. have a motorcycle. Not everything has to be a fucking life lesson. Anyway, we're here. Yes, this is what I came all this way for. God, yes, I love bathroom. That. I need not everything has to be a I life like lesson. A one I can hold. Some can be a mistake. I honestly have always wanted a motorcycle. Pretty easy. Right now I am here, and I am trying to get But I know here. that I'll probably get Fuck. extremely okay, injured. Okay, I'll just turn right onto the road that it wants me to go onto, and... I'm like Vegas a little bit. It's a pretty epic you love truck, toes. but I don't think it can do sand. Or can they? Ah, uh, no, I would definitely get stuck. Okay, I can't park here, so I'm gonna go up this road <laughs> and find a place to park. This is uh -huh. the closest thing that set it out a road, and this doesn't look like a road! It really doesn't look like a- What the fuck is that?! What is that?! It's just rocks! That's not road! And so I spend the next hour looking around the desert. That's for just coolant, guys. It kind of feels like I'm playing Borderlands, but nothing's funny. Hey, dude, listen up. Don't die in the desert. I think this is good. It's a campground. Uh, I don't see a single other person. At this point, I just wanted to ride around anywhere because half the day was gone. So I took the bike down using these wooden steps that I made because I have minion legs. And then I was ready to go. Come on, let's fucking go! Oh. I'm fucking stupid. Ah. Now I know. <laughs> Wait, I does he know how? But this is actually my first time going into the desert, believe it or not. So it's a learning experience for us all. I don't. More, more just me. Mostly me, because I was there. And here's something I learned. Motorcycles and dirt bikes and stuff really are, hard. <laughs> are like stick shift, right? Or like paddle shift. I also learned that I was lost. Like you need a. Really there's like a clutch and everything. Three minutes since I got on the dirt trail. I know how to drive I, stick. I don't. Really I don't I I've never driven. Uh, Didn't figure out where like, I was. Well, how do, I don't understand the concept of how you would do I that with the right a motorcycle. Direction after a while, because the terrain started looking like this. Oh my god, I always thought it was just rocks. automatic. Oh my god, it's all fucking sand! But with no other choice, I just kept going and doing desert things like climbing rocks and screaming.
You know, desert things. Speaking of desert things, sand. Okay, I'm a sand. Oh, I was gonna say I'm a sand whisperer. Oh, what the fuck? Now, it might look like I have no idea what I'm doing, and that's because I don't. I fucking suck at this. The sand is way harder to ride in than I thought it would be, but hey, it's fun, I, I think. Oh, shit. Michael, Michael, oh, motorcycle. Oh, yeah, boy. I remember one of my earliest memories ah, that's what I in get. preschool. That's what I get. Fuck the and I know it was in preschool. Oh god, I'm gonna have to cut it off. <laughs> he hated pe when people would say that. Michael, Michael, motorcycle. Hey. I don't know why, but I, that's I'm a memory that will always stick with me. I stopped here to eat and take in the view. All right, fuck this. <laughs> Alright, moving on. And the sun was getting pretty low. And then for my next trick, I got the bike stuck. It's actually so stuck that it stands up on its own. Wow. So. Always in the mud. <laughs> okay. This is sand. Yeah. It's sand. You know it's gonna be 100 years from now, huh? It's gonna be sand! While I was trying to get it out, I noticed this on my phone. It's a emergency dust storm alert for the area. You know, pull over, visibility zero, don't die and all that. That sucks. It's said to pull over, but I'm not on a road, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't apply to me. Anyways, I got the bike unstuck and I was on my way. Woo! Baby, yeah! You know, it wasn't the longest adventure ever, but I had a lot of fun. I got to see some cool stuff, and it's about time that I headed back so that I could go to TwitchCon. Why? Why always when I celebrate? Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh my god, oh, no, this dude! This is a dust storm. Oh my fucking! Wait, god. this turned into like a survival shit, show. Like, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Fuck dude, that's crazy! Oh my god! That was like a flash flood. No one, but no dust. one could have seen this coming. But yeah, there's another that was problem. This area is called a wash. It's where water flows out of the hills yep. when it rains. The water cuts these paths in the ground and they go all over the place. It doesn't look that confusing from up here. This is a Google Earth picture that I cropped to hide the watermark. But when you're on the ground and it's dark and there's fucking sand in the air, sand! it's way harder to see where you're going. So at some point I went the oh wrong way. Oh my I don't know where, god! I went the wrong way. And the this is so dangerous. Less and less and less like a trail. Dude, I would be panicking right I went now. The wrong way. Okay, go back. Go back. And to make matters worse, I discovered that sand isn't really sand, but tasty little rocks that you can breathe and eat. Oh, yummy, <laughs> yummy in my little tummy, they taste so good. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, but it, it was getting pretty hard to breathe. I'm gonna put a fucking dust mask on, and by dust mask, I mean a shirt. So I had to stop and wrap a t-shirt around my face so I wouldn't breathe any more yummy rocks. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. It's this way, I think. Bro. And yeah, I think I found it. That looks like the trail. But not for long, that doesn't look anything like the fucking trail. Oh, there it is. But I feel like this scary music's gonna come back. I couldn't find the fucking trail, okay? This one I was on just ended. I didn't even turn around this time. Just kept going towards where I thought the road was. Which is definitely not what you're supposed to do in this situation. I'm not sure what you are supposed to do, but it's definitely not this. And I had no idea where I Guys, was. Guys, this is a I'm life lesson. Riding around hoping to find something. Which makes this next part really boring. So I'm gonna put some Minecraft parkour video on the screen to keep your attention. Look at that, a subway search for Wow, he's we'll so good at it. Post of today. Am I the asshole for kicking <laughs> the head? And then I'll post it on what TikTok. A good joke. And then I'll post that on YouTube Shorts. And then I'll post that Shorts talk on my Instagram. Oh wow, is that the road? Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Fuck you, dust storm! And I felt pretty relieved. <laughs> <laughs> What happened is I saw these power lines way off in the distance, and those are usually near civilization. So I just went towards them until I found the road, and then I was free. This is legit lost in a desert, dude. <laughs> wow, how exciting. MLA formatting! Thank you for 25 for months. Tonight, I will make scrambled eggs and spam. Tier 3 oh, for 25 months, thank you. It's like fried rice. Sheet. Sheet. Good night. You gotta turn off the camera. Good morning. I had a nightmare that someone was walking around my tent at night, so I'm probably gonna have to deduct points from TwitchCon for that. But other than that, it was pretty good. And uh, let's get all get packed up and we'll head to TwitchCon. 
Not much happened on the 100 mile drive from the desert to San Diego. I had a lot of time to think about how fun it had been so far and how I wished I could have stayed a little bit longer. But as I rolled into town, I was overcome with optimism. You see, I'd lost track of why I came down to San Diego in the first place. And so I was excited to finally get started on my review of TwitchCon. Four out of 10. It's all right. <laughs> Love it. Good ending, Joe. <clears throat> well done, once again. <laughs>